How's it going guys? In this video, we're going to compare the autopilot on the Tesla Model Y to the Blue Cruise on the Ford Mustang Mach-E and see how they compare and see which one I think is better. All right guys, so we're in the Model Y and we're going to go ahead and test the autopilot. Let's see how good it works and how it compares to the Mustang Mach-E's Blue Cruise. All right guys, so we're on a regular road now. We're not on the highway, but I wanna try this thing out on a regular road. Press twice, down, and then uh, we'll see how it goes. All right guys, so right off the bat, I would say the main difference between the Tesla's Autopilot and uh, Ford's Blue Cruise is the fact that you can do the autopilot on regular streets. I'm on a regular street right now. Um, I'm gonna press down twice and it says, keep your hands on the wheel, be prepared to take over at any time. And I basically have the autopilot on, on the streets versus Blue Cruise, you're only able to do it on highways and it's not all highways, it's only certain highways. So this is already a major advantage over Blue Cruise uh, that I can see. Um, let's see what happens. So Blue Cruise is hands-free. You can do it without having to touch the steering wheel. This, I'm assuming, once you don't give any input to the steering wheel, it'll give you a message saying, hey, make sure you're paying attention. Let's see once, once it pops up. So the fact that you can use this on the streets is very cool, especially if you're in stop and go traffic. I mean, it's kind of hard to trust these systems, whether it's this or the Blue Cruise. So you always got to keep an eye on it, um, but it is nice that it works on the streets. Uh, now let's jump onto the highway and see how it does on the highway. All right, guys, so I went ahead and enabled the autopilot on the uh, highway here. Um, look at these beautiful views right now. It just rained, so the water is nice and flat. Beautiful water views. Um, anyways, we have autopilot on. On the highway it is very nice um, I haven't had any sort of pop-up saying you know keep your hands on the steering wheel or anything like that so not not sure why oh there we go apply slight turning force to steering wheel um, so on the Mach-E uh, for I, I on ideal roads you can actually go completely hands-free which is very nice um, there we go so I gotta actually put some sort of input for it to uh, keep going but anyways um that little blue light means that it's on um i can hit up and it'll turn it off and then if i hit down twice again it'll turn it on i'll i can increase by putting this uh this little wheel up i can increase the max speed uh so you can see there 55 56 66 67 68 um very cool. It, it's a very similar system. I love the, the gamification, the graphics of the little car. Um, it literally detects all the cones on the side. It's wild. It detects the car in front of me. Um, pretty cool system. I, I like the, the graphics and the gamification of it. It feels like it feels like a toy. It does not feel like the uh, the Mach-E. Um, but I mean, it works. It works great. It works fine so far. Let's uh, keep driving a little bit and see how it does. One thing I am surprised with so far on the uh, autopilot system on the Tesla Model Y is the fact that um, you don't have to give steering input very often. Like you do have to give it, but it takes a long time in between steering input. So like you want to stretch out your hands or you want to take a sip of water scratch your head whatever um, you can actually go a pretty good amount of time without putting in any steering input like right now I'm not I'm not putting any steering input and it hasn't alerted me in, a, in quite a while so um, yeah that's a big surprise because I thought it would be more frequent that it would require those steering inputs all right so let's see what it does when I try to change lanes I'm gonna put my left blinker on
So I actually have to manually turn off my left blinker. And then I have to re-engage the autopilot. Not a huge deal because, I mean, same thing with the Blue Cruise on the Mach-E. It doesn't let you do it automatically. Now, I heard on the Tesla, the full self-driving actually does let you switch lanes and all that stuff, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, but here we're comparing just the uh, autopilot to the Blue Cruise. All right, one thing that is terrifying, and I guess it'll definitely wake you up if you're <laughs> falling asleep with the, with the autopilot on, um, but when you steer a little bit out of the lane, oh my God, the beeping is horrific. So let me just go ahead and show you guys. So I just turned on the autopilot. It says corrective steering applied for your safety, but it does this beeping noise. All right, guys, so we're just pulling up to the house now. And uh, my conclusion from that, and this was my first time ever doing the uh, autopilot on the Tesla, is that it's essentially an adaptive cruise control with some fancy graphics. Um, it is cool. It works fine. Um, I love the graphics. Uh, but uh, let's jump into the Mach-E and show you what the Blue Cruise is all about. All right, guys, so we are now in the Mach-E. We're going to go ahead and jump on the highway and test out the Blue Cruise. So we're jumping on the highway, and let me show you guys how quick and easy it is to access Blue Cruise. So we're jumping on here. All right, so now that I'm on the highway, all I have to do is click on this uh, cruise control button. And if you're on an eligible highway, it'll automatically turn on the Blue Cruise for you. Now you'll see the screen turn blue here as soon as the Blue Cruise turns on. Okay, Blue Cruise on, watch the road, be prepared to resume control. Now you just press okay. And bam, Blue Cruise is on. And the cool part is, it is hands-free. I don't have to touch the steering wheel. Um, now there is parts, like for example, um, there are parts that uh, you know are under construction and those parts, you do have to grab the steering wheel because the car won't know what to do. It'll automatically turn off the Blue Cruise for you. Um, but my commute is literally purely highway i jump right on the highway and then jump off the highway um to get to and from work uh so blue cruise is absolutely amazing because i don't have to touch the steering wheel at all um now the tesla one the autopilot is cool because you know it, the input isn't required very often but you still have to touch the steering wheel here i can go for multiple minutes if not yeah tens of minutes and not have to touch the steering wheel at all, which is pretty cool. Um, it has this little thing which um, tracks your eyes, and that's why it says watch the road, because I'm watching my phone and not the road. And then it says resume control if you're not paying attention. So I've resumed control. And then to turn the Blue Cruise back on, I just go ahead. Yep, it automatically turns it on for you. So there you guys have it, Ford Blue Cruise on the Mach-E. Um, this eye thing is super sensitive and it doesn't let you take your eyes off the road for more than like five seconds. So it's gonna keep beeping on me, but um, yeah, it's basically adaptive cruise control, uh, but hands-free. Um, and it is 
slowly improving as Ford gets more data. I'm sure just like Tesla is, the more data that's available, the better the cruise control slash adaptive cruise control slash hands-free driving is going to get. Um, and this does the same thing where it, you know, adapts to the car in front of you, slows up, slows down, speeds up, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, basically uh, cruise control, but hands-free. So that's what I love about it. And especially for road trips, which I don't do a lot of in these in this car because the charging network sucks. Uh, but the short road trips that I do take in this car are great because you arrive so much less fatigued since you're not putting on those little, uh, you're not putting in the little steering inputs that you would normally be putting in um, for like an hour or two or however many hours you're driving for. So it's great. All right, guys. So there you have it. The Blue Cruise versus Autopilot comparison. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Which one is better? Uh, now, I didn't do a comparison to the, uh, you know, full self-driving of the Tesla. I think this is a better comparison, the Blue Cruise versus Autopilot. Um, both cars have their pros and cons. Um, I actually prefer the Blue Cruise, especially for, you know, long trips or, you know, long drives after, after work. I want to not use my hands and, you know, think a little bit less and just sit there with uh, drool dripping down my face, uh, you know, kind of brain dead it's great um but that is what i prefer uh but there you guys have it let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll catch you in the next video